a cyber attack on change healthcare back in February is still having an impact on doctors, on pharmacists, and of course, on patients. You know, we've been following the attack for nearly two months now, and as we've told you, the group Black Cat is claiming responsibility. And since the attack, we've reported about the challenges providers and pharmacies are experiencing. Hospitals can join that list as well. In our top story tonight, Six on Your Side reporter Molly O'Brien speaks with the Tennessee Hospital Association about the difficulties hospitals are facing. Hospitals face several issues in the early days following the cyber attack on Change Healthcare. There were issues with prior authorizations and obtaining approvals for testing and procedures that needed to be done. There are also issues with pharmacy and discharging patients and getting them the right medications. That was Rodney Adams with the Tennessee Hospital Association. He tells us though some of the challenges have been addressed from the cyber attack, hospitals are still facing some difficulties nearly two months later. Change Healthcare is one of the largest clearinghouses and clearinghouses a uh, company that serves as a liaison between the provider and the payer to transmit claims for payment. They're one of the largest clearinghouses in the country and they were down for a five to six weeks. So what we've seen is a, a tremendous amount of cash flow issues for the hospitals who did use Change Healthcare. Change Healthcare is owned by United Health Group. The cyber attack proving to be a massive blow to the medical industry. Change Healthcare touches over a third of all healthcare transactions that happen across the country. And so an impact of a cyber attack on Change Healthcare had far reaching impacts across the industry. As for hospitals, Adams believes this cyber attack is just adding to the increasing list of problems they are facing. Over 50% of hospitals operated in 2023 at a loss. And so the cash position of hospitals has already been somewhat compromised coming out of the pandemic, coming out of these workforce shortages. In Knoxville, Molly O'Brien, WATE, six on your side. Now, Adams tells us he expects disruptions through at least the end of this month and probably well into May. We reached out to UT Medical Center for a comment on the cyber attack, and a spokesperson says in a statement, quote, we are aware of the outage initially reported by Change Healthcare. We continue to work closely with this partner and remain focused on providing our patients with excellent care.